This is Mark Elty Rizal of Trek Factory Racing's brand new Trek Madone. And first up, we should play a game of Spot the Cable. And Trek have done such a fantastic job on the cables and the integration throughout the bike that you can hardly see one. The Madone is intended to be an incredibly aero bike. It's the most aero bike in Trek's range that isn't a time trial bike. But at the same time, it's still built around comfort. So you've got the ISO speed decoupler back here that you might be seeing on the Demane or the Trek Boon, but still gives a bit of give bit of suspension and support on the rougher road surfaces. The tube shapes, as you can see, just incredibly aero. It looks more aerodynamic than many time trial bikes did five or so years ago. The handlebars and stem, again, this unit is really, really, really stiff and apart from looking fantastic, looks and is very, very aero, just the sharp edge there. One of the biggest issues that Trek faced when they were trying to integrate every component as far as possible was how to get the brakes to fit with the frame. So they turned to Bontrager, who made these sensible brakes, front and rear. You might not spot them, that's because the grey finish is fairly similar to Shimano, so they really fit in with the general aesthetic of the bike. And to integrate them as far as possible, Trek had made these flaps up front. I think this is probably my favourite feature of this bike, maybe of any bike. Look at that. You turn that way, you turn that way. All in the name of aerodynamics and integration. I think that's really, really, really cool. Finishing kit, talks about the bars. The saddle is also supplied by Bontrager. The group set is Shimano's Dura Ace throughout, excluding the brakes. So Irizar has got a chain set that includes an SRM. He's running 3953 chain rings, really the standard for most professional riders. And the cassette is an 11 through to 28. Again, with 11 speed, that's the standard for most pros. Pedals are supplied by Shimano too. Great pedals, very reliable. And the wheels, wheels of Bontrager 2. Again, they're the Aeolus 5, so they're a midsection. They're not the most aero, they're not the most deep that the brand offer, but neither are they the most shallow, so good for all terrains, good for a rider who likes all terrains, like Irizar. Tires are supplied by small Italian brand Veloflex, and those tires are actually very popular in the Pro Peloton, although you may not know it because they're often unbranded on bikes. I think they just finish what is fantastic aero looking bike. If you agree and you like this bike too, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see our advice on how to get more aero on your bike, click right there. See the rest of our pro bike features, click right there. Finally, to subscribe to GCN, just click on me.